Stormzy has today launched an initiative to try to tackle the issue of a lack of di diversity in football off the pitch. Yeah, hashtag Murky FC will work with 11 partners, including Sky Sports, to provide career opportunities within those organisations. Yeah, Stormzy joined a panel alongside former Arsenal and England forward Ian Wright and current Brighton defender Victoria Williams to discuss the lack of representation in senior positions in football. One of the saddest things, I think, as well, is that when we do get any kind of lift, anybody does get some form of, like, job or something, we have to be so grateful. It's very tough. It's very tough to take because everything that's been that we've had to do as black people in the sport and every, we have to be so grateful for. And you know what I mean? We always just want what we feel that like we deserve. And for me, going back to that time to this, it's getting better. Change is happening very slowly. But like it's something that we just have to keep going on about. I always say representation. You do that. Like, mm -hmm. You can never underestimate how how far that goes. And when when you see someone who looks at you mm -hmm. and you see them shining, you say, "Oh, I can do that." So, yeah, man, it, it means a lot. When you start talking about minorities now, um, in terms of representation, there's so many of us that have fallen by the wayside. Um, but now I think you know, if you think like Alex, we've got Alex Scott, um, Anita Asante, Fern Whelan, you know, yourselves, like sort of putting their face on television. So now I think people can see that not only have we got a role on the pitch that can be filled, like off the pitch as well, I think that is so important. You know, that's hopefully where this project will, will come in and help bridge that gap. Well, Stormzy has spoken to us on a whole range of issues and only if you've been living under a rock would you not know that the South London-born rapper is actually a Manchester United mm. fan. But why is the question? He explained all. I'm a, what do they call us, Cockney Reds. <laughs> I'm a cottage. My it? favourite player growing up was Rio. Yeah. I love Rio. Good choice. Yeah, good yeah. Because I'm dead at football, but I always thought if I was good at football, I would like to think yeah. I would be like. And you've got the height too. I've got the height, exactly. the strength, you know what I mean? The physicality, like. But um, what made me grow up, it's like, so even my nephew supports City. Ah. You know what I mean? So. Conflict of the household. Yeah, yeah. But it's like growing up, like, I probably just saw United winning all the time. And that's that. I said, yeah, I want a piece of that. Like. For you, who uh, do you consider, I guess, trailblazers in football and in the footballing industry? Oof, good question. Ian, right? I, I, I adore that man. I love, I have so much love and such respect for him. And even his journey from a footballer and him now, everything he does, how bold and unashamedly. Like, he, he, he um, stands in his views and his beliefs. So Ian was always one for me. Um, Raheem Sterling, like, Sterling, like, I've always said, like, the stick that he always used to get from the media was always just, you know what I mean? We, we, could, we could smell that a mile off, and I think he always, he always had to be brave in the face of everything and, and stand for what he believed in as well. Marcus as well, Marcus Rashford, like, I think any, like, because also understanding football like, me being a musician, I think it's easier for me to, like, say, yo, that's not right, or, yo, do you know what I mean? Like, as in, I, I feel like I might have a lot more freedom to do that because of my career and, the, like, the kind of structure in my career. Whereas with footballers, they they have employers, they have the FA, they have, they have a lot of things where it's, like, they might feel a bit restricted in terms of, like, being, being the, the, the truest versions of themselves. So when I speak of Ian... Your um, Raheem's, your Marcus's, it's like, yeah, man, that they're standing for something. So, yeah, big up, big up all of them.